Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something on my face? What? Mother lover, you gonna love this. Graduated from a rebel to a rebel. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the video. So like you just saw in the intro, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the demon eye effect in Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna be walking you guys through it step by step. So don't be scared. It's not that crazy. But before we actually get into the tutorial, if you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors. I post filmmaking and editing tutorials every single week. If you guys wanna learn about filmmaking or editing, please make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification. All right guys, let's go. All right guys, so now that we're in After Effects, don't start panicking. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our clip and we're gonna bring it down to this little box right here. It creates a new composition for us. So as you can see, our clip is now on the timeline here. And the first thing we're actually gonna need to do for this is we're gonna come up to the top and we're gonna go to uh, layer. And then once we go to layer, we're gonna go to new and then we're gonna create two null objects. So we're gonna go down once, null object, go back to layer, new, null object, and what these node objects are, are they're just like blank slates. So what we're gonna be attaching to these is our tracking data. And now we're gonna click on our main video clip here. I'm gonna zoom back out. And then once you do that, we're gonna be tracking our eyes. So what we're gonna to need to do is have the tracker window over here. If you guys don't have this tracker window, uh, I'm gonna close it out really quick. All you're gonna to need to do to get it back is go to window, go down, to tracker and it will pop right back up into your frame here so once we have the tracker window open we're going to be tracking the motion once you click track motion make sure the only thing that's checked off here is position that's all you need and then you're going to take this little box and you're going to put it right above your eye as you can see it magnifies it like crazy you're going to put it right on your iris or that's no that's your pupil put it right on your pupil and then you're gonna open up these boxes to make sure that the tracker actually tracks your eye. Uh, the bigger the box, the longer it's gonna take to track, but it does a better job of tracking if the box is a little bit bigger. So we're gonna leave it like that, and we're just gonna click this little play button here and let it do its thing. All right, it looks like the tracker did a really good job. Uh, you can see all the little keyframes it made on the screen here. So all we're gonna need to do now is we're gonna come back down to the tracker window here and we're gonna go to edit target. So you're gonna come down, hit edit target here. And then this little window is gonna pop up and we're gonna actually attach this to null one. That's gonna be our left eye and just click okay. Once you click OK, you're going to come back over to your tracker window and click Apply. And then this little box will pop up and just click OK again. All right, so now we have our left eye tracked. Uh, one step at a time, guys. We're almost there. Uh, we just got to do the other eye now. You're going to see all these keyframes down here. They can be really overwhelming. So we're just going to actually um, let those go away. We're just going to click this little arrow over here. And then now we're gonna do the other eye. We're gonna do the right eye. So we're gonna do this really quick. So you guys don't have to sit through it. Click okay and boom, we're done. Now we have both eyes tracked. So this is where uh, the fun part begins where we can start making our eyes black. We're gonna close out all these keyframes again so there's not a bunch of stuff everywhere. And now to do this, all you're gonna do is you're gonna zoom in a little bit and to zoom in, all I'm doing is scrolling with my mouse um, and it just automatically zooms in like that. You're gonna come up to the top and you're gonna go to new solid. And to create the black eye effect, we're not gonna make it black. We're gonna take this dropper tool and we're actually gonna make it the color of our pupil. So uh, let's try this. No, that's not getting good. All right, so we're gonna actually do the right eye here and that looks pretty good to me. And then once you have it, you're just gonna click OK, and it's gonna make your whole screen that color. We're gonna come down and grab the solid layer, and we're gonna drag it to the top. Once you do that, we're gonna actually turn this layer off by clicking this little I button right here, and it'll show our screen again. So really, all we're gonna be doing is masking out our eye, 
and then track and then attaching our masked out eye to the track that we just made. So we're going to come up, grab the pen tool here and let's start masking. That looks pretty good. So to actually sell this effect, if I turn this on right now, all you're going to see is my eyes black. That's not the effect we're going for. It doesn't look realistic at all. So to actually make it more realistic, what we're going to need to do is if there's any uh, white or like light shining in your eye, we're going to actually um, mask that out as well. And this will give it the illusion of it actually being uh, your eye. So right here, we're just going to drop down this little menu of the solid and then once you drop down the solid menu you're going to go under masks and once you're under masks we're going to go to the first pink one which is the mask of our whole eye we're just going to go down to that and then we're going to go under mask feather and bring it up to two you can i usually do two or three but for right now i'm going to do two and then these two masks right here all you're going to do for the masks that are surrounding the light that's in your eye is you're just going to put them on subtract subtract and subtract and then now if I turn the layer back off or back on you'll see that my eye is black and the little light that's in my eye is shining if there's still a little a bit of your eye showing right here you can just go back under that top mask and um, bring up the expansion so if you go right here you just kind of toggle the expansion and it kind of makes it bigger or smaller you can mess around with that if you would like um, but for the most part, you just need to feather it a little bit. And now if I zoom out, there you go. You see I have the black eye and there's the effect. The fun part is we get to do this twice, guys. So um, let's get into that. Before we actually get into the second eye, what we're going to need to do is grab this little pick whip tool and we're going to drag it to null one. What that's doing is taking that mask that we just made and uh, putting it on the tracking data so that that mask follows that right eye. All right, so now we have to do the other eye. So to do that, make sure you're back at the front of your playhead over there, and we're gonna do the same exact thing all over again. We're gonna go back up to the top to the layer, go to new, and we're gonna create another solid. Um, so if you already did the other eye, then this will be the same color. You're just gonna click okay. We're gonna grab that layer, put it right underneath our other black solid layer, and we're gonna turn that off for a second, just so we can mask. So zoom back in and we're going to get back to masking the other eye. All right, the masks are complete. They look pretty good to me. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go under that mask, under that solid, and we're going to go under mask. And we're going to put the main mask, which is the top one, to 2% two per, two feathered so put it right there two and then close that out and then the other two masks all we're gonna do is put them on subtract so boom and boom so close that out and turn that mask back on and now if I click on this you'll see that that eye is done as well so now that that eye is done all we're gonna need to do is put the tracking data on that eye to the null object two so it will track to that side of my face. So you're just gonna grab the pick whip tool again and put it right onto the null two. And that's it guys, literally that's all it takes. I know it's a lot of information at once, but once you do this a couple times, it gets easier and easier. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something on my face? What? If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification. You guys can also help support the channel by going down to the first link in the description below and getting something from my merch store. Anything that you guys buy from that store and any profits that I make from that store goes right back into keeping this channel going a little bit longer. I just want to give a big shout out to all the subscribers and I will see you guys next week. I'm out. I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice.